This simulation is a continuation of my previous presentation on three-phase standalone inverter, where I have explained the simulation for balanced load. Those who haven't watched that video, please watch that before watching this video. So today I am explaining, how to modify the controller, so that the simulation will work for, unbalanced loads as well. This is the controller that I explained in my previous video. This one work only for balanced load condition. Now we need to modify this controller, so that the inverter will work for unbalanced load conditions as well. This is the modified controller for unbalanced load condition. There are quite a lot of changes, that I have made to make it work for, unbalanced load. It would be difficult to explain everything here, in detail. So I will just brief the major changes, that have made and, I will leave the link for reference paper in the comment section, so that you can read it for better understanding. One major change is that, now I am sensing the load current and transforming it into, D and Q axis currents. Another change is that I have modified the voltage controller block. I am now taking into considerations, the load current values and the filter capacitor values. Here omega 0 is the, grid frequency and, C is the, filter capacitor value. Current controller is also modified and value of filter inductor is now included in the controller. So here in this omega 0 L term, omega 0 is the grid frequency and, L is the total inductance value. Everything else remains the same and now, we can go to the simulation. This is the simulation diagram, that I have made in my previous video. Now I will modify this diagram, according to the new controller changes. I will start with adding the, ABC to DQ block for load current. Now change the voltage and current controller blocks, according to our new control method.
Now we will set the reference voltage as 400. We have set 5 ohm, 25 ohm, and 250 ohm as load values. Now let's run the simulation. Open the scope to view the result. You can clearly see that even though our loads are unbalanced, voltage in each phase are balanced. So the modified controller is working fine. You can also see the current in each phase. Now we shall try a different load. Run the simulation again. Open the scope to view the result. Even though we have changed the load, output voltages are still balanced. I will try one more different load condition. Run the simulation again. Open the scope to view the result. So for all the different load conditions, we are getting balanced three-phase voltages at the output. This is the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching.